the guys new to the offense. We're trying to build that in, uh, in practice and get that get that chemistry working well between us so we can have successful runs going to the left as well. How important is that, though, to be able to run between the tackles for the rhythm of, the, of oh, this it, offense? It's huge. Obviously, you know, having a su successful running game opens up play action, and uh, and to get the ball to 9 and 22 and 5 and 2 is huge. Okay. I'm, I'm walking up late, but... Uh... You said eventually the tight ends were, were getting Yeah, I think you guys need to ask me that question every week. So they, I, I know. All right. So and you I had an so answer happy. for us. T talk me through that play. Um, you know, uh, I was just a lucky guy on the right spot. I uh, I heard this guy yelling out. I got the tight end. Next thing you know, he bumps into somebody, falls down. And I get my head around as fast as I can, and there's the ball. Um, it's great to get that first one off my chest. Uh, great to finally get one in Brian Denny. I've been waiting on that one for five years. Um, it's a great feeling, and, and hopefully the tight ends can produce a little bit more in the, ga in the games coming up. With, with uh, Cooper catching so many passes, is he like the first option on most teams, or is he going through reads to get to him, him catching he's, all these passes? He's just so good. He gets open every play. Um, I'm not saying we don't get open, too, but obviously if nine's open, get him the ball. How's he with his deep balls? We don't see as many. With, like, how, do you, how does he throw those deep balls in practice? Uh, I mean, he, he, he's successful with the deep ball. Um, he got a big one tonight for us uh, with Coop catching that one down the sideline. Uh, you know, it's there. I think we're just we're trying to set it up. So there's there's more to this offense. You're saying? Oh yeah, oh yeah, big time. I think maybe see more this week with with Florida. Who knows? Looks like in the running game there there's some good runs that could have been great runs with maybe one more block. Guy gets tripped up eight yards downfield yeah. when one more guy. Yeah. Says, Do you, yeah. And that's kind of you sometimes, right? Yeah. Um, it's something you just got to work on in practice. Uh, you know, we, we are, are big on finish, finish every play, uh, and, and the running backs do that every day. So, I mean, those, those extra eight yards that they get, they probably could have been two-yard runs. could have been four-yard runs, but they're, they're working on finishing in practice every single day. If they get tripped up, they ha that happens in football. You know, shoestring shackles, probably should break those, but can't do it every time. But I think a lot of those runs are more successful than they probably should have been. Right. What do you think about Blake Carr out there throwing a block on that, that that comeback with Amari? You know, I was on the opposite side of the field, and like being the making the bad play that I should have. I, I played uh, the guy with the best seat in the house and just sort of watched as it went back. And I just saw people going flying to the air. I don't know if you guys saw OJ, but OJ destroyed a guy. Mm -hmm. That got me fired up, and I just started sprinting down the field trying to look for him. But uh, see, a quarterback sacrifice himself is. Says a lot about who he is and what, how much he cares about this offense.